Yo, welcome back to His Transform, your go-to spot for all things gadgets, chips, and the wild world of smartphone guts. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a beat on the latest tech drama. Today, we're diving headfirst into a massive shakeup in the chip game. Picture this. The two biggest mobile chip bosses, Qualcomm and MediaTek, are eyeing a sneaky switch up. Why? Because TSMC, the king of chip making, just slapped a whopping price hike on their fancy new 2NM tech that's straight up crushing profits. And who's waiting in the wings with open arms? Samsung, baby. Yeah, the same Samsung that's been grinding to catch up in the foundry race. If you've ever wondered why your next flagship phone might cost an arm and a leg, or why Samsung's suddenly looking like the hero in the story, stick around. We're breaking it all down in simple terms, no PhD required. This could flip the entire smartphone supply chain on its head, and by the end, you'll be the smartest person at your next tech chat. Let's jump in. All right, first things first, what's this 2NM thing even mean? Okay, imagine chips like the tiny brains inside your phone. The smaller the NM number, nanometers, super tiny measurements, the more powerful and efficient they get. It's like cramming a Ferrari engine into a skateboard. Right now, we're on 3NM or 4NM chips, but 2NM? That's next-level future stuff, coming in 2026 for flagships like your Dream Galaxy or iPhone Killer. TSMC is the undisputed champ at making these, powering everything from Snapdragon to Apple Silicon. But here's the plot twist. TSMC's jacking up prices by a jaw-dropping 50% on their 2NM wafers. Yeah, you heard that right, 50%. That's not a hike, that's a mountain climb. Why the greed, TSMC? Well, they're the best, demands through the roof, and they've got zero chill on costs. Reports are buzzing that a single 2NM wafer, think of it as a big cookie sheet of chip slices, could hit $30,000 a pop. And it's not just 2NM getting hit, their 3NM upgrades like the N3E and N3P versions are jumping to $25,000 and $27,000 per wafer too. Ouch. For companies like Qualcomm and MediaTek, who design these beasts but outsource the actual baking to foundries like TSMC, this means razor-thin profits. You're talking chips that already cost a fortune to dream up, now even pricier to produce. No wonder they're sweating bullets. Enter stage left, Qualcomm and MediaTek, the dynamic duo dominating Android's high-end scene. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite? That's the rocket fuel in your Samsung Galaxy S25 or Xiaomi. MediaTek's Dimensity series? Stinky powerhouse in cheaper flagships, keeping prices sane. Right now, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is estimated at up to $280 a pop to make, and Dimensity 9500, around $200. Solid, right? But fast forward to next year, with TSMC's hikes, that Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 could balloon past $300. Imagine telling Samsung or Vivo, hey, your premium phone just got 10 to 15% more expensive, deal with it. Phone makers would either skimp on features, buy by that extra camera magic, or eat the cost and hike your bill. Nightmare fuel for everyone. So what's a chip designer to do? Diversify, baby. That's where Samsung swoops in like the underdog hero. Samsung's not just phones, they've got a massive foundry arm cranking out chips for others. And guess what? They've just kicked off mass production of their Exynos 2600 on their shiny new 2NM GAA process. GAA? Gate all around. Fancy transistor tech that makes chips denser and cooler running, like giving your phone superpowers without the meltdown. This bad boy is set to heart the Galaxy S26 lineup next year. Samsung's yields, the success rate of good chips per batch, are at about 50% right now. Not perfect. TSMC is probably north of 70%. But hey, it's a start. If they tweak and improve, and they will, because Samsung's got that Korean hustle, watch out. Word on the street from a Korean outlet, Chosun, is that both Qualcomm and MediaTek are already peeking at Samsung as plan B. Qualcomm's ahead of the pack here. They're reportedly teaming up with Samsung to test a 2NM GAA version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Think about it, dual sourcing. Make some chips at TSMC for reliability, some at Samsung to judge the price punch. It's like having two grocery stores, one pricey organic spot, one with killer sales. MediaTek? They're not spilling beans yet, but they just taped out, finalized the design for their first 2NM SoC slated for 2026. Smart Money says they'll follow suit. Why lock all eggs in TSMC's basket when Samsung's door is cracking open? Now let's get real for a sec. This isn't just about chips, it's a profit war. Qualcomm and MediaTek's margins are getting dented hardcore. 
That extra $50 to $100 per chip, it adds up to billions across millions of phones. By shifting some production to Samsung, they save cash, keep prices competitive, and maybe even negotiate better deals down the line. For us consumers, potentially stabler phone prices, no sudden $100 jumps on your next upgrade. And innovation? It pushes everyone to hustle harder. TSMC might even chill on hikes if they smell competition. But hold up, who's the real winner here? Drumroll, Samsung. Oh man, this is their golden ticket. Their foundry biz has been playing catch up, plagued with yield drama and rep hits from past flops, like those Exynos chips that overheated faster than a bad Tinder date. Remember the Galaxy 2020 era? Whew. But now with 2NM rolling and yields climbing, snagging orders from Qualcomm and MediaTek could skyrocket their market share. Imagine Samsung not just feeding their own phones, but becoming the go-to alt for the Android army. That's leverage, folks. Bargaining power in a TSMC-dominated world. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Samsung's got to prove they can hit those yields consistently. 50% is cute for trials, but for mass production, they need 70 to 80% or clients bolt. And trust? That's the wild card. Qualcomm's dipping a toe in, but full commitment? It'll take moonshot efforts, better tech demos, tighter deadlines, zero drama. If they nail it, Samsung's foundry could explode from also ran to top tier contender. Wrapping this up, you guys, TSMC's price hike is the villain forcing Qualcomm and MediaTek to rethink everything, and Samsung's the scrappy hero ready to steal the show. By 2026, we might see a dual foundry world where chips are cheaper, phones are beastier, and no one's wallet gets wrecked. Exciting times. What do you think? Will Samsung pull it off, or is TSMC too unbeatable? Drop your hot takes in the comments below. If this vid lit a spark, like it, share it with your tech squad, and subscribe for more deep dives. Until next time, stay charged. Peace.